Uh, we're electrofishing in the Manatee River for a common snook. It's one of four rivers we sample in the Tampa Bay area to, to, to describe uh, common snook abundance, distribution, habitat associations, um, and biological dynamics in the freshwater portions of the river. So we put a pulse of electricity in the water. It stuns the fish. We put them in our live well. Um, after our transect is finished, we can then measure them, revive them, and let them go. So we're getting ready to release our 2000, I guess it's the 2015 Common Smoke Stock Assessment that uh, estimates the population size on both coasts and both coasts are doing very well. Uh, the Gulf Coast is certainly meeting our management benchmarks um, and a lot of that I think has to do with uh, two things generally. First of all, you know, FWC was very proactive after the 2010 cold kill with closing the fishery completely. And I think that allowed um, what was already a strong population to have a break for a few years after those kills and, um, and helped. And then the second reason is just that snook fishermen are so good at, at policing and taking care of themselves. You know, and, and they know that this is a special fishery that they want to preserve. And so I think that also has a lot to do with it. Snook fishermen are very good at uh, limiting what they take rather than taking everything they're allowed to. So I think that's probably the two reasons that have allowed this population to be so strong.